Can't you tell? What? <laughs> Eight twenty nine. This is more FM. Christchurch's popular More FM breakfast is hosted by legendary entertainers Simon Barnett and Gary McCormick. If you're into the hot adult contemporary format, boy, you have come to the right place. Gary's put his hand up for today's mediation between Peter and Esther. So what are you doing today? What's the scrap about? Well, I'm going out to Birdling's flat because apparently there's a guy out there who's recently moved in the area and he's left a bit of rubbish lying around the place, namely a couple of houses and a few other things. <laughs> and the locals are a bit upset. He right. sounds like a hard case. Do you want a hand? Uh, uh, you know, nickname scrapper? No, no, that'll be all right, mate. I think this, is a, this calls for a diplomat and that sounds like me. Gary has a lifetime of experience with the spoken word and the New Zealand way of life. It should hold him in good stead today on the beach at Birdling's Flat. Peter's just arrived, Claire's dropped him off, and Esther's here too. Let's get it on. Good luck, Gary. You're going to need it. Come on over, Esther. How are you doing? Nice to meet you. Nice yeah, to meet you. Yeah, Come on, take a seat. I'm glad you've got a warm, sensible warm <laughs> coat. Yeah. How you doing, mate? Come on in. Cold. <laughs> <laughs> you should be used to it by now. Yeah, Esther, how are you oh, doing? Hugs. <laughs> Gary McCormick, all part of the service. Well, that's a good start. That's a good start. <laughs> hey, Nilika, you, you are a coaster, aren't you? Oh, yeah. 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 Born red. I don't know what they can see under born, your head. Can you see under his head? This goes of muscle with no brain in the head. <laughs> <laughs> now, obviously, you've been dealing with this issue for a while. Like, in a sentence or two, your major concern about Pete's property is what? It's a wee bit too untidy, Pete. Well... But what do you expect? I got not only lumber with my own house, I've got lumber with somebody else's house. Yeah. Too. Is there anything else that's bothering you apart from Well, that? we feel that there's a wee bit of aggression happening because we've complained to the council about it. And, mm. I mean, it's all we could really do. Do you accept the fact that Esther did have to take it up with the council? Well, um, How else do you do it? Well, it's, it's, it's like this. I've got one thing to say. How many, how many feet of, metres of fence have you put up, other than the boundary fence between you and your neighbours? Um, I'm not exactly sure of the exact measurements of it, but we've put one fence up along the back boundary. Yeah, that's between um, you and your, your neighbour. What's, well, what's we the have, re relevance of that? Yeah. No, what's around your property to stop people from looking in your backyard? Not a great deal. Uh, nothing. Yeah. Nothing. No. Absolutely nothing. I've put up you know, 30 metres so far, was trying to run a business, been Are accused, you being it, to being it. Hey, hey, I, I, I'm uh, allowed to run my business. Uh, yeah, we know that it is. There's been a bit of a history. You know, that facts we, have got to be right before people start accusing people of things that are not true. Well, yeah, okay. Pete, let's let's use our Christian values mm. here, Pete. The thing is, this, it's obviously despite the fence, and I, we have to agree that's pretty unsightly and a little bit disturbing. Well, I think that well, most, even I would feel a little bit put if, out by that. If you drive it yourself around here, Gary, mm. you'll go down the road here and you'll see three or four sections like that. Right. One, there's one across the road there that's just just as bad, but like. A man's had 14 months. I had a relocator that done a run on us. Then I had a, 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 a home being relocated by my company down to the road down here, and somebody poked their nose, and then I ended up getting lumber with that. I got $20,000 worth of fraudulent checks in my back pocket. Um, I think your activity creates attention, Peter, and and this sort of attracts negativity to you. And you're I've, obviously got, I've got a right to a, a life. Stress. We all have a right well, what to What activities the in particular are you talking about? Well, Peter runs a business from there. Um, it's very visual. It's firewood at the moment. Um, right. When was I the last time you seen a load of firewood go out of my property? Oh, gosh, I've been trying not to watch, Pete. You know, I just no, sort of turn what do you back. mean? You've taken <laughs> photographs <laughs> every time we've come and gone. Well, not every time. <laughs> are there any other... I haven't even seen you, lady, <laughs> hosing the garden well, in the rain. You That's how nosy you are. Hosing the garden when it's raining. Now, hold on, Pete. How ridiculous is that? Steady, steady, steady. It doesn't matter what the people hose on it out. Is it your intention to do something with all this material and well, tie it up in due course? how long course? does a man get? A man gets well, two years to, to comply to a code of compliance. 